The Korean K2 Black Panther main battle tank is participating in Norwegian battle tank evaluation for K2NO. The Koreans have installed the Israeli Trophy Active Protection Systems. Now, South Korea has developed the Korean Active Protection Systems to equip the K2s with the Korean Army. Back in March 2012, the South Korean Defense Development Agency said it had created an active protection system for armored vehicles. However, the KEPS is a complex system that includes three coordinate radar station, infrared sensors, a computer system, and an anti-missile launcher. Now, the primary purpose is to detect incoming projectiles and guided anti-tank missiles at a distance of approximately 150 meters. After acquiring the enemy projectile, the KEPS launched launches an interceptor missile that explodes at 7 to 22 meters from the target and knocks the incoming off course. The active protection system takes about 0.2 to 0.3 seconds to launch once the incoming is detected. The armament of the APS includes 70mm anti-missiles which travels at a speed of 2.3 thousand kilometers per hour or about 2 max. However, the US and European tanks use trophy hard kill APS from Israel. Now, the US Army had hastily introduced the Israel Trophy Hard Kill Active Defense System, which has proven its ability to intercept 9M133 Cornet anti tank missiles in actual combat back in June 2017. The Trophy Active Defense System uses a 360-degree radar to detect anti-tank missiles and rockets approach and then fires multi-explosive form projectile interceptors to intercept them. Now, the Israeli military has announced that the Trophy APS has been installed on the Merkava MK4 tanks and the Neymar armored personal carrier based on the Merkava Mark IV tank chassis. Since this installation, not a single anti-tank weapon has pierced the combat vehicles. The KAPS is not accepted abroad because it is prone to friendly fire. An official from Hyundai Rotem is on record saying that the KAPS model developed by the National Research Institute was made exclusively for large-scale all-out use. Therefore, it is a model that cannot meet the current tank export market which is sensitive to human casualties. Another reason is that the KAPS APS radar cannot detect incoming if the tank operates jammers. In particular, it was found that when a spoke grenade is used during maneuvering, the radar of KAPS could not detect the enemy's anti tank missile or RPG rocket, making it impossible to use the two systems together.